Okay, mister, you're going to be ten minutes late, so just keep your shirt on. Inconceivable! Welcome back. If it's your first time, thanks for finding us. My name is Rich. This is my stupendously awesome, lovely wife, Kel. Hi. We love providing first reaction videos for everyone, and we span the genres of metal all the way to progressive rock and anything and everything in between and up and around it. That is awesome. We just got done with Buckethead. All the anatomical parts were ripped out of my body kind of floated around for about six minutes and then kind of put back and I'm a little bit different. So that's where I'm at. We haven't had a lot of time since the last video. It was a bucket gasm. <laughs> it, was a, it was a KFC gasm. It was a bucket gasm. Is that like when you first taste KFC? That's what it was. It was like... <sighs> it was a bucket gasm. A little bit more. It was amazing. I love watching you in that space. Holy so man. So good. So, I said self. Hello, self. Nobody's home right now. <laughs> Please leave a message at the tone and we'll be right back to you. Thank you very much. Beep. And I said, you know what? Now it's probably time for Dragon Force. Right. For the Fire and Flames, yeah. And here, here's the deal with this, guys. This is the reason why I didn't want to jump on this one. And I've alluded to this uh, a couple times. Like a little itchy after that experience with Buckethead. Uh, for those that know, just just give us a little bit of space to explain to those that don't know. I'll be very brief. The guitar over my head was Mertz. He passed away about 13 weeks ago from a massive, sudden brain seizure. In bed, found dead in his pajamas. He was a master songwriter, guitarist, lead singer, bandmate, uh, he was a, a wonderful soul, a wonderful son. He lit everybody up. He was the kindest soul. He never had a, a, a mean thing to say unless he was being kind of funny and just kind of going with it. He was a true angel on earth, similar to this person sitting next to me. And we're both grieving. And <clears throat> we're tough individuals, but at the same time, we feel very deeply. And that's one thing that we wanted to do was to, well, I asked Kelly, I said, hey, let's review Dream Theater's new album coming out. We'll do a couple songs. Let's see how it goes. I've always wanted to do kind of a first reaction to new new tunes like I did with my friends growing up, with my brother, with my son, with my daughter, with with Kel when we were doing a little bit of Pink Floyd when we first met and got together as a couple. And this song was the first song that my son and I uh, broke into with Guitar Hero and, and Rock Band. And he very quickly showed me how fast he can adapt to the guitar and he was playing um, piano and bass at that point and then he literally after we got him Guitar Hero he, we went he said dad I want to go to Long McQuaid Long End of McQuaid in Victoria Jared, where I lived for a long time where, where Jared uh, lived uh, until until the end and I took him to Long McQuaid we had just been doing the Guitar Hero thing. We are playing a little Metallica, uh, Merciful Fate. We did that one earlier today. You want to check out the video for Merciful Fate Medley. And this was the first song that I realized his greatness because he he picked it up so fast and I actually called some of his friends over. I said, Jared, get your friends over here. Let's, let's play this game. And I would take his friends aside and i say, is Jared just freakishly good? And they're looking at me like, Mr. Gafter, it's really weird. And I was like, all right. And it was a day after he mastered on expert from not knowing the song. It was freaky. Took him to the guitar store. He sat on um, a Marshall amp. Do you plug it in? 
Plug it in! He plugged it in. Ah. And he ah. went, went in his mind from the piano chords yes. to, in 20 minutes, from zero to, zero to holy shit, he literally, I watched, and his fingers started to go like this. And I knew for sure that he was destined for, for greatness and a lot of joy in his playing. So we got him a guitar, I actually surprised him with a Dave Mustaine signature guitar uh, from Future Shop, and it was a flying V, and it had all the shit on it and the, and the effects and stuff, and it was, it was only like a three $400 guitar, which is a good deal of money, but not like the Jackson behind me that he ended up buying with his own money. Uh, about three, four years later, he saved for it for like a year and a half. He had the Triple Mesa Boogie, he saved for that, he bought that, he bought a stack that was just ridiculous, and he was just a rager. But it started from this song, and I haven't wanted to play this song because it's a little bit still raw for me to think that he's not here, and um, that guitar won't be played by him anymore. And thanks for your patience, you guys have been like, play it, play through the fire and the flames, I've been like, Arr! But we're ready for it. We did Merciful Fate today, and that definitely um, that 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 changed my whole kind of frequency around this and where I am with it. So, ready to listen to it, Kel? Almost. I just imagine someone. Yeah, you're gonna say kind of who who was asking for this? Yeah, so I know. Dragon she's got Force. her little. She's got her. She's got her notes. <laughs> <laughs> These are today's notes. Um, Dragon Force has been asked for many, many, many times by many of you. But one person in particular, Mr. Andrew Baumgartner. Way back in the beginning, when we first started many weeks ago, he sent a little message and he just wanted to let us know that he was out there and that uh, he really liked European hard metal and that he is really not well. And um, he wanted to put in a birthday request, but his birthday is not until August. So, Andrew, when you're better, you need to give us your birthday request and we'll play it on that day because I know you'll be here. Mm -hmm. His wife takes exceptional care of him and she is his angel and his rock. This is all from the comments. This is we all don't from know his him personally. Comment. We know nothing We're except reading. for what was... No texts, no emails. No. This is just in the comment section and replying. So, Andrew, we really hope that you're feeling better and all of you out there on the channel, please... Take a moment. Here's where we're going to send Andrew all our love and all our healing powers because he needs it. And his family. And his family. And his friends. We're just going to take a second and we're going to just push it all to Andrew wherever you are. We're going to push it all to him. Ready? Everybody close your eyes. Close your eyes. Three, two, one. There's no right way to do There's this. No There's no way. wrong way to do this. Good it's just, intentions. It's just we send it out there. It's uh, something called the butterfly effect. When a butterfly yeah. flaps their wings, it affects the weather system all over the world. And you can see why that would happen. Imagine everyone thinking uh, in that moment well. for Andrew's uh, good health. And uh, it matters a lot. Thanks for your messages, Andrew. Yeah. And your comments and your pain in the asks. Yeah. We wanted to do it early. I just I wasn't ready wasn't to, to ready. hear this. I, I even I queued up the song one night and I just went, I'm not ready for it. I'm just not ready to, to have the images of Jared uh, and I doing that again. But for, for you, uh, this is one of the, this is how it got me over the edge and bucket head in some ways that listening to that last song, um, something uh, uh, something changed in me and I'm ready to do this. So um, okay, there we go. <clears throat> Thank you. Through the fire and flames. Perfect. God, I've heard this so many times. Come here, darling. Star power. I'm at home in the morning, in the time before the night. In flames of dance, eternal rain, we ride towards the fight. When the darkness is falling down, in the time for a tough or right. The sound of evil laughter falls around the world tonight. Fighting hard, fighting on board the steel, through the wastelands evermore. I'm the blackest crazy
be like this. Like, you just be... You just... It's like you can see it. I do smile. Look at me. How you doing? It's good, right? Yeah, you're awesome. Keep going. He did, it, he did it live. He took his guitar out in about a year and he would do the song. It's a brilliant song. It ripped everybody's heads off. You hear me? drummer to be able to keep up with this. That's not an easy beat. By any stretch of the imagination. to say except um I'm just really sad he's gone. So that's it. That's all I can do. I will say this <clears throat> about him, about anybody looking at their best parts. And that's really what we do here is we look at the positive and we look at what's possible, and we look at the pain, and we look at the loss, but we also look to keep moving on. Like that Rocky monologue. It's not how hard you hit, it's how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, how much you can take and keep moving forward, and that's why I, I challenge this one today. That song, and that arrangement, and that performance was indicative of him and so many other people there's so it's so fast and there's so much intensity of that song but with jared there was there was a stillness and a, and a beauty of just being him amidst all of that stuff all of that all of those sounds he was in there in the pocket in his life and just loving it 
And so many people are like that. With all the chaos around them or all the complexities, there could be a, a beauty that emerges for them and with them and just have to be around them. And that was Jared. He would take these complex songs, arrangements, and even though he was seizuring and even though he was <clears throat> having a really hard time, he would bite his tongue at night and he would just be bloody. He couldn't even talk the next day because he just, you know, and couldn't do anything for him. And so many people out there that are having hip pain and back pain and they're on gabapentin and they're on, they're on prednisone and Coumadin and just trying to get the help that they can get. But there's a grace inside of everybody. And that's why I couldn't listen to the song because there was so much chaos in his life and he had so much adversity, but he was a brilliant artist and musician and such a great soul. And that's what we look for is we look for the gold in everybody. Always look for the gold in everyone. Don't, don't look for what's crooked. Don't look for what's broken because it, 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 it's disrespectful to them and what they're trying to do every day. It's just, it's, it's a beautiful moment in music history, I think, Dragon Force, that particular song. And hey, there might be others. It, this is the extent of my knowledge. I'm not an encyclopedia by any means. I just know, I'd like to think that I know good music. And this, this was indicative of that. And I believe I'm a good judge of character. And Jared w was that. He certainly was. So thanks for watching. Thank you. Everyone be well. You are the entire other side. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I love you too. Ah, oh, we did it. <clears throat> Later. Bye. Is it over?